You might have already heard of Botanic, an enormous tree and grass library add-on for Blender. It is one of my favorite plugins, as it provides hundreds of high quality assets for nature and architecture scenes. It contains trees, shrubs, plants, grass, flowers, succulents, rock, pots, tropical assets and many more 3D models. But it's not just a regular collection of assets, as the add-on also includes a lot of awesome additional features that I am now going to demonstrate in this quick video. The assets are all well categorized in the add-on library. If you go through them, you can see that the trees have multiple variations to choose from. This is extremely useful, so you can add multiple trees of the same sort without any visible repetition. There's also a really handy button that you can use to quickly randomize the variations of the selected assets. Additionally, you can also make use of random transformations to completely get rid of patterns and make everything look natural. The trees are not only optimized for both cycles and EV, they can also be adjusted to every season of the year. For the coniferous trees we get two variations, a regular one and another one with snow on top for winter scenes. The deciduous trees even come in three different variations, one for spring and summer, one for autumn with customizable leaf colors and another one without any leaves for the winter. The snow on the winter variation can be customized with a node group in the shader editor. Botanic just received an update and a really cool new feature in the 6.3 version is the option to quickly add wind animations to the trees. We have three different animations to choose from, breeze, wind and storm. This is a feature I've been waiting for a long time and I'm really excited that it is finally implemented. The clips in the background were created with this feature. A useful little feature is the option to snap the assets to the ground. You can just place the objects on top of your terrain, select them and quickly bring them directly onto the ground plane. A small detail that I really appreciate is the human reference in the preview thumbnails. This is extremely useful to quickly get a feel for the size of the objects. All the assets in this library are in real world scale. Botanic also includes a really good IV generator. Simply draw onto your objects and afterwards convert the strokes into plants. There are also a lot of customizable grass particle systems that we can add to our scenes. They look really good and are easy to adjust. Those are currently my favorite features of the plugin, but there is a lot more that I didn't cover in this video and even more to come in the future. The developers are constantly updating it with new features and additional assets. Once you buy it, you'll get all the future updates for free. Check the link in the video description for more info. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.